Yeah. Good. So now I'm seeing your desktop. Okay. Which is really nice. And okay. I can get rid of the videos, and I don't think we need any of the videos at all for the recording. Um, so if you go, so what's your browser? We're uh, Firefox here. I'm using Firefox because it said uh, Tiddly Wiki like yeah. that. So yeah. I have, so, as you can tell, I have lots of browsers, but the, yeah, but, but okay. Yeah, so if you, Firefox if you, yeah, just do Firefox. Okay. <laughs> it's just like so much easier. Okay. Um, and so if you go to, um, Design Right Studio, spelled like you would expect it to be. I mean, so, no, 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 Design yeah. Right Studio. Design Right? Yep. Yeah. D E S I G Design. W R I T E, sorry. All right. Studio. Dot um, updog. Updog? Dot, dot co, as in UK. And okay. Yeah. And do that. All right. Um, and so that might be worth bookmarking. Okay. But yeah, I don't know how you do bookmarks, but yeah. Um, and so this is the Tiddly Wiki. Okay. Um, and it's um, sort of a cross between a word file and a website. Okay. Uh, it looks like a website, but you interact with it sort of like a word file. Okay. And then when you save it, it updates. Okay. Um, and so um, I'm in the early stages, obviously, but under course outline, which is on the right in the table of contents, buried down there, all the way down there, there's a little okay. twiddle to the, yeah, you can click it or you can open the twiddle. Um, and so then I think under, how can I put it, under assignment, I don't know where my exercise is. Huh. Um, yeah, see this is why I'm building this for next week, so you're early. Okay. Um, we'll just, it's the, eventually all the exercises will be in here, but right now they're not. So I'm just going to walk you through. Okay. Okay. So go to Dropbox. All right. So. Do you have Dropbox installed now? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, so there's always a little bit of installation involved. And there's a list of all these things that you need somewhere buried in my week. But I haven't set right. it up yet, actually. All right. Um, probably download the app, right? Yeah. Are you going to remember your... Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Like I said, I'm doing it for another school, so... Oh, you, why don't you create a new one? Yeah. Here, you know yeah. what? Um, let's, do, let's create a new one. Let me, let me do get the link because now so, I will... Stop, yeah, so just stop that one second. Right. Let me grab my link because I will... Um, I'll get an extra half gigabyte of free storage. Works for me. <laughs> Which I use to support the studio. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to um, share my, why don't you stop sharing your screen and share mine for a second right, so that so, you'll see that. And, so let's um, see. So how do I stop sharing my screen? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Um, somewhere up on the up, see the green bar across the top. There's a big red button that says "Stop Share." Oh yeah, right there. I see. Yeah, right there. All right, got it. And as soon as. Um, it, I forgot one word. Oh, you, oh, you're seeing that's weird. You're seeing it over there. Uh, yeah, I forgot one word, which is toolkit. So if you go back to your Firefox, right. let's see. Let's see. yeah. So I'm gonna. So yeah, we can go back to you sharing because we'll be better off that way. So we'll share the screen again. Yeah. And we do a lot of this in class because it's in and out, in and out, okay. and that creates sort of an interesting dynamic in a teachable thing. So if you go back to your to the Design Right Studio and search for toolkit, that was the keyword that I forgot. Right. And there's a search box on the right here. in the yeah, right there. All right, toolkit. toolkit. And then it's live, so you can scroll down to get to toolkit. Yeah. So toolkit. That one. Yep. This one right here? Mm hmm Yeah, I just toolkit for Dropbox or just toolkit? Just talk it right, right. Now. Um, and so that's a tiddler, that little box there that okay. says toolkit is a tiddler. All right. And there's three buttons in the upper right hand corner. Yep. There's the down arrow, 
yep. um, which is the more info button, okay. more action, sorry, click that and you can do stuff about that tiddler. Okay. Um, and click info. And a tiddler is an object in the database. Okay. Basically. Um, it's got fields. <laughs> so this Okay, so is its key here this uh, this created uh, its, number? Its key is the title. It's title. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's title, which is like, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> that's the key. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's got a tag. Okay. Design Right Studio. Yep. I modified it. That I modified it then. It's got a list, which I'll explain some other day. Um, nice. But when you actually, what it does is it orders the way that things are listed when you ask for the tags of Design Right Studio. Okay. I think. Um, and it's got a creator and it's got a created. Okay. It looks like it was yesterday. Yep. Um, and if you click on um, references, it will tell you that this tiddler references, no tiddlers linked to this. And if you click on tagging, it will tell you that it tags these tiddlers. Okay. So that it points to those. And if you click on list, it will tell you that's what its list is. I don't quite understand that. Yeah. If you click on listed, it will tell you it's probably not in, oh, it's in a list of learning community. Which okay. is, so it's got a relationship to learning community. Okay. And fields you've seen in advanced. I don't know what we're going to see for advanced. Um, advanced, uh, it's not a shadow. I know what that, yeah, it's not a shadow. I know what that means. And sources, uh, okay. Maybe. That's not true. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So close the tiddler in the upper right hand corner in the X. And um, close course outline while you're there. Close hello there while you're there. And then you can search again for toolkit. Right. And it's right there. All right. Okay. And open it again. So now what we're doing is opening and closing tiddlers. Okay. And if you want to edit the tiddler, you click on the button between the X and the down arrow, which is a pencil or a pen. And so, and if you click on in the toolbar, the last button to the right is the preview button. And um, in the upper right hand corner of the whole wiki, there's a arrow pointing off to um, route 12. Let's see, oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, and that will close that menu on the side. Okay. Um, and you constantly go back and forth to oh, open okay. and close the menu. Okay. Um, but now what you're seeing on the left is my code. On the right, you're seeing it's live representation. Okay. So it's it's sort of not what you see is what you get, but it's like what you write is what you're going to see. And it instantly updates okay. on the fly because it's all of the execution is happening in the HTML file as you're using it. Okay. Did you ever use WordPerfect in the old days? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, remember, w reveal, w you know, yeah, yeah. remember reveal codes? Yeah. In WordPerfect? So. Yeah. In two windows? Yeah. That's what this okay. is. Okay. Okay. Which yeah. is. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's, I don't well, it's that. it's interesting, yeah. especially from a programmer kind of perspective. Yeah. So what you're seeing is that I've got a macro called reveal. Um, after it's recommended the tools be acquired and set up in this order. Okay. So my reveal macro puts the text Dropbox and probably opens up the tiddler called toolbox, toolkit dropbox, and the X501 is some kind of state variable. And then I don't know what exactly what that means yet. I'm trying to learn. Okay. And then the reveal macro says, okay, create a show button and a go button. And you can click on the go Dropbox button. And now you're going to go to the tiddler called toolkit Dropbox. Okay. And if you click on show, you can go back and do it. It's going to show the contents of that tiddler in, in line. And now scroll down. Okay. And you see, see, so it's, and that's called a transclusion. Okay. So you're moving your your reference. You're getting text by reference. A transclusion. Yeah. That's a new word for me. Okay. You know. Yeah, it's a hypertext term. Okay. Um, from the sixties. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. By the kind of the father of hypertext, and it means to refer to refer to text by reference, and it brings the text in. Okay. But doesn't change it. Okay. Um, Google News does that all the time. You see it all the time. Like when you go to Google News and you see the first block of that's transclusion. Okay. So that's what I mean about this. Like I can teach that and show that in a way that uh, that's pretty good. I can't. And, and you can do this with not much code, hmm. and you feel powerful as a freshman. Yeah, I'm sure. Or as a professor. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's yeah. like holy yeah. shit, I can do this. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. 
So anyway, so now that you're down in Toolkit Dropbox, create a Dropbox on that link, and that's an external link in the wiki that I think click it, and it should say, okay, create a new Dropbox. Okay. And you've been invited. Okay. <laughs> um, and so you have to use a different form of email than you've ever used before. So Christopher.Urban at SUNY at TW would probably work. Yeah, I think it would probably work. <laughs> so <laughs> you probably never type that, do I you? probably never do. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher Dutter, right? Yeah. Uh, SUNY IT, SUNY Poly, what are we doing? Uh, uh, do you have a SUNY Poly address? I don't think so. I don't think you do. I don't think so. I think it wants a first name and a last name. Yep. Up above. But yeah, I don't think you have a SUNY Poly address. I think we ever will. <laughs> <laughs> Whole different discussion. <laughs> We're recording here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you a funny. Tell you a funny story about that after we okay. stop recording. Okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, password. So any old password will do. Any old password will do. Do you have a stupid password? I have a stupid password. It's like, fine, have it. <laughs> 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 All right. So I agree to the Dropbox terms. Yeah. All right. A little room here. And then you. How do you go? Do you have all privileges? Are you a restricted user? You're not a restricted user, are you? On this? Yeah. On my own machine? Yeah. No, no. It's okay. <laughs> they, that was how they initially uh, wanted yeah. to install Did you have to get a piece of paper signed by someone? I, uh, yeah. Yeah, me yeah. too. And, uh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, so I had to do that. Essentially, I got blanket approval for everybody in the department. I was like, we can't do our job. Yeah. I mean, you're crazy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and, you know? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Andrew and I, uh, although we get along, mm -hmm. yes. it's a lot of... Well, it's it's, you know. it's 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 always tensions. It's, yeah. it's, I, I find it interesting the tensions. They're yeah. they're challenging for him. I yeah. mean, they've got like serious security issues. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wiki um, is pro is a security nightmare um, because it allows you to edit in the browser, mm -hmm. and browsers are clamping down on that because it's a security nightmare. Right. So Firefox is right now the only one that's really easy, and there's a it's a um, plug in the Firefox that allows you to right in your browser and save it to your desktop or to your, in this case, to your Dropbox on your local drive. And it uses the file colon slash slash protocol instead of the HTTP protocol. Mm -hmm. And the browser are clamping down on file protocol. Yeah. yeah like barely, yeah. Chrome is really, it's not, it yeah. works, but it's not good. They all want HTTPS now. Right. Yes. More right. secure. Yeah. Right. So, you know, um, I don't know that it's a true security nightmare, although I'm sure that you could embed evil code in your tiddly wiki and send it to someone and they download it and open it. Right. It's an opening an HTML file. It's not an executable, right. exactly, right. is it? No. <laughs> but it's got links to executables. But it's got links to executables, that's the thing. So yeah. if you embed an executable link, you know, and somebody trusts you, you know, I mean, yeah. then, then bad things potentially could happen. Yeah. I mean, that's why I don't hope, you know, I mean, it's really hard sometimes, but. But you open HTML files all the time. Yeah, you do. But then you, I mean, you never think about that as a security risk, but, and you click on things all the time. You yeah. don't think about that because you expect your browser to protect you. Right. So that should be fine. You think? You know, there's the, the, uh, the, the, <laughs> the bigger, the bigger the problem is files. normally. Okay. It's normally. Normal. So you got a um, set up Dropbox. Um, Open your Dropbox folder. Okay. There you go. All right, get started. Let's see where it is. And um, your Windows, right? Yep. So I think that under Windows, if you just go to your sort of browser, and um, do you have Firefox preferences set up in any particular way that oh, you care about? No. So if you could go to preferences. Right. So. And. Um, let's see. Uh, customize maybe. Mm -hmm. I really need to learn this. Yeah. Um, you want to save your file different places. Um, Add-ons, options, options, options. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With it. God, every time you look at this, it's 
It's different. Doesn't want to do the options. All right. Um. Hmm. So let's do um. Because is it? Uh, why would it be? Because I'm in the tip of the. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're just in. So go yeah. to um. Uh, go back to a different tab and, and do a um, um, you know a, where's the toolbar in in Firefox where you set your display options it's that right yeah um, customize I guess is that what we did before let's see customize all the way on the bottom oh. and there's a plus yeah yeah, additional tools and features. Share this page, text encoding, forget, open file, side sidebars. Find print history, full screen, save page. It's interesting that the, uh, I don't seem to. Developer, maybe it's developer. That's ridiculous. You can't yeah, do developer. You just want to change the preferences so that you, it asks you where to save your files. Yeah. Try clicking on save page. I'm not able to click on anything. Anything. So, okay. Which is interesting. Yeah. So that's like unusual and yeah. like, this is annoying. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't, I, I, would, I don't expect that. You know, I don't expect, right. you know, so here, I mean, I've never not been able to do options before. I don't understand why I can't do options. In Firefox. In Firefox, right. Oh, bizarre. You know. Yeah, if you exit out the customize. So, so let's do uh, options. Yeah, let's do, yeah, so okay, so what if we do just options? Okay. There we go. So we can do that. Oh, it's a customizer. I'm such an idiot. Right. Um, you want to download, always ask me where to save files. Right. Um, that's fine if you want to make Firefox default. Yeah, and under right. downloads, always ask me where you to save files. That's the, the one. Yeah. Um, and so do you know where your Dropbox is? Mm, no. no. So you want to okay. So we'll we'll navigate to that in a second. So let, okay. so if you go to your Dropbox, which is it should be a you should have a little thing in your. Is that Windows Ten? Yeah. Probably have to download the app. He did download the app. Yeah. Yeah, and it's running, right? Right. Yeah, it should be in your. Don't you have some little toolbars or something? Uh. Let's see. Cool. Isn't there a little Dropbox icon somewhere on yeah. your screen? Right here. Yeah. Welcome to Dropbox. Yeah. Right. No, that's a window. Yeah, try that. There should be like a. I mean, so if we. You should be running an app. I think you have to finish it first. Oh, finish yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It should add. So there's my Dropbox yeah. icon. I just added it. Okay. There's, so it's under. Your servant. So it's, and it's right in that quick access menu yeah. automatically, right? Yeah. That's what we wanted to see. That's in that quick access menu in this Dropbox right there. So now go to, in your browser in Firefox, go to updog.co. All right, so, so I'm done with preferences. Yep. All right. And go to updog.co. Right. And log in with Dropbox. Hey, John, how you doing? Pretty good. How's it going? We're right. learning. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Log in with Dropbox. Log in with Dropbox. Right. A lot. Yeah. Up dog. I don't know about it. Tiddly Wiki. Tiddly Wiki. Doing some, doing some wacky things there. Create new Wiki site. Up dog. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good words, right? <laughs> so create a new site. All right. Uh, whatever you want. And I'd encourage you to call it Urban C SUNY Poly. And put a, yeah, Urban C SUNY Poly, and that will put a dash after Urban C. You're the first one I've asked to do it this way. No, urban C dash. Yeah. I'll take that, right? Yeah. And okay. save. All right, no domain? No. No, yeah, that's optional. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay do you cite? Now that's pretty exciting. Okay. And go to your Dropbox. All right. And under, in your Dropbox folder, under apps, there should be an updog. Yep. And keep going. 
and there's an urban C SUNY poly yep. going, and it should be index.html. Yep. And it's being served on the web. So what I would suggest you do is go back to urban C SUNY poly. So you want to go up one level, which is right there in that there, and drag that into your quick access, which I think you just drag and drop, right? All right. So you just drag that to the left. Down to the left, right under drop, right, right anywhere in there. Right under right. Dropbox. Yeah, any right there. Right Perfect. There. Right. Uh, so now, when you click on Urban C, Sun Poly in the left. Okay. You want to go right there. It should take you right to that folder. Perfect. Okay. okay. So now go to tiddlywiki.com. And scroll down till you see a big green download empty button. There it is. Okay. And click download empty. And you want to save the file. Oh, you didn't want to open it. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Ooh, I forgot to the Fox. Looks like you had it. I did. I installed it. You had to the. Okay. I was I started I should, earlier. Yeah. So. Okay. You got to the Fox. Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So go back and do that again. Um, to go to the previous tab. Yeah. And download empty. Okay. And don't open. Hit save. Right. So save. save. And now OK. And that's Firefox is going to ask you where do you want to save it yep. and click on Urban C. All right. So and then you're quick up up a little higher, Urban C SUNY Poly directory. Right here? Yep. And see where it's naming it, empty.html. Yep. Let's replace empty yep. with my first tiddly wiki. Or first is fine. My first is perfect. Okay. And then do a save as type. All right. So um, there's a type. Let's see what the types are. And that's our type. Okay. So dot HTML and that's fine. So save. Okay. okay. So now what you've done is you've taken the tiddlywiki file to like basically open a new document. Okay. It's called empty and it's got all its code in. Okay. So you saved it. You downloaded it. Okay. Now we have to open it. Okay. Because we want to edit it. Right. So open, file open, or control O, I think, or file open somehow in the browser. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> um, control O, I think. Yeah. And my first.html. Okay. And Fiddly Fox is going to, you always want to say, okay, yeah, I'm going to save it now. Hit OK. Okay. And you always open empties in the Getting started window. Okay. So let's change the title of this to my first tiddly week or whatever you want to call it. For servants first tiddly week, whatever okay. you call it. And so you can save it two different ways. You can close the tiddler, which will automatically save the wiki, or you can click that red save button, which will save it and technically the tiddler called getting started is going to get saved as draft of getting started. Okay. So go ahead and save that. Okay. And save changes. And if you see the save wiki in the upper right hand corner, did you miss that here? Save it again. So it saved us. Yeah. yeah. Save it again. It flashes by. Right there. Yep. Uh, I guess there's no save. So that gives okay. you confidence. Okay. Okay. So um, the URL across the top. Urban C dash SUNY poly slash my first URL. Yep. Uh, grab that starting with the Urban C. I started with Urban C. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have it? I didn't see yeah. it. And you copy. Yeah. <laughs> but just starting with the Urban C and open a new window. Yeah. And copy that. Open a new window. Open a new. Right. Yeah. Paste that. And just paste that part in. Okay. In a new tab, right? Right. Yeah. Um, oh, so you took the whole thing. Oh no, you oh. there now paste it. Oh, you know what it is? My my um, Zoom is delayed. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's modify this URL. So go to the beginning of it and put an HTTP colon slash slash in front of it. Right. In the very beginning, in front of Urban C. Okay. So yeah, I'll watch you instead of like. Okay. So HTTP colon slash slash, and then after the Urban C, SUNY Poly, but before the slash, the domain is dot updog.co. Slash. And then the slash is there. Slash, slash my first HTML and, re and hit return. And let's see if that, re that ensures well done. All right. So SUNY Poly dot updog.co. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So. And if it works, I'll be psyched. Okay. Now, fam, why is that? Urban C dash SUNY Poly 
Um, dot. Oh, I'm just getting it now. So why isn't that working? Let me see. Dash in the dot up dot dot co slash my first dot HTML. That should work. But maybe give it a few minutes. Sometimes there's a 30 second clue that you go ahead and turn it. Not found yet. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that does work. Can you backspace over my first dot HTML? Does that, um, let me just go to urban see that work, right? Mm -hmm. I messed it back. HTTPS colon slash error. We found that before, didn't we? Um, we have it in a previous time. We tested that. Mm -hmm. Welcome to, it's the second welcome to Dutta. Here's the welcome to Dutta. Bam. I think we lost that tag. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, huh, I could have sworn, didn't we see that one? Yeah, we, we, we did see index. index. Yeah, it worked on index, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. It did. All right, well, I don't know why it's not working. Let me see if I'm getting it in another browser. Exit full screen. Because you're not getting the... In, the uh... We're so close, Chris. Yeah. So close. Urban C... Dash SUNY poly dot up dog dot co. I got it. You got it. Hit on an index dot HTML. I saw you. And now we're not finding it. Go back to your Dropbox. That's not work. To your, I'm sorry, to your, what's, what's it called in Windows? The finder, the desktop, the whatever, the browser, the, the interface to the file system? Yeah, right. right. So. You've got Dropbox, app, up dog. Dropbox. You put his up dog stuff in the Dropbox file. If you click on his Dropbox. Yeah, so open up Dropbox. Uh, open up. Open up apps. Apps. Yep. Up dog. Go ahead. Oh, we moved the damn thing. That's what I did. I just, okay, I, you know what I did? I'm so used to dragging and dropping and math, it automatically creates shortcuts. Okay. But in Windows, when you move, it moves. Oh, okay. So you show. Um, so what do you need me to do? So we need to go back a level, one more, to Dropbox, and drag Urban C Poly into apps. Right above. So uh, just drag that. You just drag the, I think you uh, can cut it. Cut it. And then okay, yeah. And you want it. to paste it in the laptop? Yeah. And then open over and see power. Let's see what's in it. That looks like a shortcut. Okay. Now I'll go back to Firefox and okay. so now if it's trying to find it. Yeah, it should work. Go to the my first body. Yeah. Go to the the previous tab, which was my first out of HTML. Okay. And it, um, no, it must be in the, it's in the, it's in the back button of that tab. Okay, so the last tab. The last tab. Yep, yeah, in the back button. Go back a page. Okay. Put that up, yeah, and now we, we uh, refresh. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's happening is that you've got a file that you can edit in Firefox. Okay. And a file that you can serve with an HTTPS. Oh. Hmm. I can get your file. I can edit your file because it's just a HTML file that I can edit. Okay. If I, I can edit it, I can change it, I can delete all your stuff, but I can't save it back to your Dropbox. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So you don't have permission to save, but you do have permission to edit. To not edit, but you you have permission to grab the text essentially and do with it what you please elsewhere. I can basically what I do is it's in my browser. I save right. it. I'm basic, and then if I want to keep my changes, I could save it right somewhere that I have permission. To right, save it. that's right. In my Dropbox. Right, right. So that's what you do is you create derivatives. It's a really cool technique that students are writing because you can now critique their writing. Yeah, it's that's like interesting. A track changes kind of thing, and then. Then you say, "Here's the link to here's the link to your tiddlywinky that I critiqued." 
Or you can give them a text and say, write on it. And they can send you a link and they can say, here's the link to the text that you gave me that I wrote. I answered your question. <laughs> That's interesting. And so you're swapping back HTML files. Mm -hmm. Which is okay. Yeah. Interesting, different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so what it's it's, that's what it is. <laughs> um, and it is pretty cool. So like your slides, if you, and, and we can talk about what you wanted to do, but if you wanted to do slides, you could do whatever you want, but then you can make links in your slides to other stuff. You don't have to get into the reading and writing. Um, it's most, it's easiest to just say, I'm making HTML files, you guys read them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but just keep in mind that. But you can do videos too, right? Oh, you can do anything mean, so, in the file. So, so you can do anything. I full mean, on, it's a full mode. It's not text. It's full mode. So, so you know, so I could, I could have a, an embedded link that would uh, allow me to go to uh, three minutes of me saying and doing something else, you know, yes. or further explaining something. Well, what we're know. doing with these videos that we're creating now, maybe if we can figure out how to do it, um, and we could, because you guys have a whole video thing in computer science. We, you know, we, so if you want to get into that, we yeah. can chat about that. But so maybe, so maybe hear this out. This would be interesting. Um, I'm working on a way that I'll be able to insert a timestamp in a video by pressing a button like now, now, now. Yeah. So like, okay, you're doing a lecture that's being videoed. Okay, I'm going to switch to the next thing now. And you make a mark. And then when people go back to replay the video, they can use your marks and just slice out the section of the video that you want to send them to. Mm. So if you've, you know, so you could get wacky with it for your slides and basically put video marks in your slides. So as somebody's going back over your slide, they can hit play and hear the video you're talking about that slide. Right. That would be great. That's that would be way cool. No. That's, we could do that. We're not we so can do post. We can do it in post we can do post production. Well no, you can do it during production, during a lecture if somebody's marking. Well I'm saying things. right now what we know. We yeah. can only do it during post. Yeah. What do you mean during post? You can't immediately after your lecture post it up on YouTube and have all. Well, we could get close to it, but anyway, that's yeah, like a that's out there. Like I'd have to use Premiere and start embedding and all the time. I don't think so. Like I don't think so. I can't it's do just, it from this software. I can't do it from the OBS software. This is where we disagree. This yeah. is perfect. That's why you have, that's why I have <laughs> graduate students, right? It can be done. It can oh, be I'm done. Sure it can be. <laughs> Scotty, it can be done. Well, Make well, it happen. One of the things. <laughs> you have a half an hour. Did you see the? I don't know if you got an email from uh, from uh, your dean asking for ideas. You know, one paragraph. You know, infrastructure, fifty-four million dollars available. Ideas. Okay. You know, okay. So we have asked. I've tried to get grant money over for years to um, obtain. You know, high quality video capturing equipment. You know, and controllers mm -hmm. and the storage capability to be able to save all this video. And transcode it into things, you know, into anything. So you can read it without yeah. any device, essentially. Right. And and this isn't cheap. You know, this right. is you know, so um, I work um, at the opposite end. Um, I try to empower um, with with no resources. So this is like a YouTube approach. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, but concept. I agree. I mean, that would be way cool to do that. Um, Here, here's the video recorder box now. So yeah. So what we've got sort of live for the spring is a little what, what do we call it the studio in a box podcast studio in a box because I want to make podcasts okay um, so we can record these podcasts better than zoom because zoom is it's not bad the video sucks space it's actually really good for teaching it's not great for making a podcast that people might want to watch okay um, but we can record them in the studio in, in Michelle Tucker's TV studio okay um, with better lights and better mics, right. and bringing guests and do screencasts. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, but the idea of slicing video into sections is cool. Mm -hmm. So, any I, the, what's cool about Tiddly Wiki? There's lots of different things. One is this read-write web thing. So, if you're if you just want to share HTML documents, and I, there's lots more of kind of um, use Word, right? Mm -hmm. Do you use outline mode? Not much. Okay. But a little bit, you, yeah. So you can do this sort of full outlining thing, and you put things in different tiddlers, and like we could take your syllabus and say, I've got twelve assignments, I've got fifteen lectures, I've got seventeen chapter assignments, 
and the chapter assignments are about this and that, the lectures are about this and that, and it's like, okay, well show me all the stuff that's about this. The readings and the assignments, and you know, which of the which of the assignments satisfy or support this learning objective? Because you've made those associations right. with text. Right. And then your students or your assessors or you can view your class in sort of a different way from an information science perspective. You can sift and sort and slice and dice however you want mm -hmm. on the fly. Um, if you're interested in writing lecture notes, we put we put lecture notes together that have links to outside sources, and that might be perfect. That's yeah. all you want to do. Yeah, that might be. That good. might be. Yeah. That's like that's a great place to start. Yeah, I'm saying it's something. For something easy to do. Some, you you know, start with something. Something. Yeah. Yeah. And the whole idea of the workshop is that we'll do like a couple weeks of like, okay, here's like the basics. Yeah. And then you start with something, yeah. and you share your work, and others critique it. So I'll look at your stuff, and you'll share it in an open place, and. Last time I had a couple of really remember that guy Hagar? Yeah, he was a cool guy. He's New Zealand, I think. Yeah. So James is in my last class. I did this, and we opened. I opened it up, and I had like four open students. I think most of them dropped. But Hagar stuck, and he's still yeah. around in the Tidiwiki group. And so this Tidiwiki culture kind of little culty thing catches mm -hmm. up, and then all of a sudden he's he's like a teammate of one of my students, and they did their final project together. This what? guy from New Zealand and my guy, and they like built the contacts database in Tidiwiki. And like Firefox, yeah, how Firefox happens, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. okay, if I can create that in a classroom, I'm doing something right. Yeah, that's good. That's <laughs> so good. it's like kind of an interesting mix, and and I've never tried to add in faculty to the mix, but why not, right? It's a yeah. learning community. Right, And right. so a um, couple of your CS students are, you know, I, I get them in 106, and I kind of, you know, some of them pick it off and play with it, and, yeah. and it's a, Pretty weird programming environment. Um, it's all HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Hmm. So I, you're barely scratching the surface, but you can pretty, you can make it. I think you could build apps. I mean, I know you can build apps. Then. Yeah, I mean, if you got <laughs> JavaScript, then you know, there you can you can build apps for sure. Yeah, and basically, yeah. you down you can download this, or download your wiki on your phone. And you'll be, whoa, wow! I can. Yeah, I'm writing. HTML to my students. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's and there's a lot. There's stuff. People out there that you can tweet from your TiddlyWiki. You can. Um, <laughs> the, uh, there was a time you remember when I was interviewed for provost here. Yeah. And I don't remember when that was. Like a long time ago, but I had a line that I thought I could use in my interview. Um, yesterday I learned how to tweet from my TiddlyWiki, <laughs> and I realized you know. Maybe not, <laughs> because at that time, tweet was like, no, right, right. Tiddly Wiki had yeah. its own kind of like, right. but that was, you know, and I still haven't quite mastered it, but I know that you can, and so that's an interesting thing, too, and it saves it all to HTML, and presumably you could syndicate it if you wanted to get into that level of programming, mm. or you can start it just, you know, writing an English freshman 101 essay, yeah. instead of in Google Docs, or Microsoft Word, for God's sakes, but at least Google Docs. But might as well do it in Tippy Wiki where you learn how to make a link with some brackets. And so you're forcing the freshman to do some light code, markup. Yeah. yeah. It's like light code, you know? Yeah. It's like yeah. DIY. Yeah. It's the makerspace. Right, right. That's where I'm headed. Interesting. So if we do it, yeah, maybe they will. It'll be interesting to play, you know, because yeah. I, I, it'll, you know, thinking about how to use it, how to, how to, you know, you, know, you want to get, your, you don't want to be silly. And do and bite off too much. You don't want to bite off too little. You know, you want to you want right. it to look good. You don't you want it to be productive and useful. So the sort so. of the concept for the conference in theory is like, okay, I did this and I use it in my class. Right. It can be once. That's all. It's just like, and the yeah. the sort of motivation was, you know, most times if somebody says, hey, you want to be on a panel, but if you don't do anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this one is so. If it works, that's yeah. cool. And then yeah. you know, there's. I might try to do the um, IITG around this. Mm. Um, I don't know exactly what, but I'd be kind of curious to see what you think in a couple of weeks. It's yeah. due in March. Okay. And we'll see where it goes. Yeah. And um, and I should probably. Uh, I should probably tell Andy that I'm doing this at some point. <laughs> That's right. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> well, it's a, it's kind of difficult, and we don't really have labs here, do we? No, I mean that's the problem. I mean we have, 
no one really. Uh, that's that's one of the things that uh, Bill Durkin. Let's um, we're done here. Okay.